truck tires. We may take them for granted, but today's transportation system depends on them. But like with anything, they come with a price. Yearly, millions of tires result in immense amounts of resource use and waste. Tire production involves refining low value materials to much higher value materials. When tires are discarded, much of this value is lost. What if this value could be retained for longer? In a so-called circular economy, waste is considered a failure and material resources are kept at their highest value in closed loops. There are proven ways for both reducing waste and retaining value in tires. Tire retreading is one established process. However, the use of retreading is declining as low priced tires often outcompete retreaded tires. Today's tire business ecosystem consists of a number of actors. The dominant business logic is to compete on price and to produce and sell large volumes of tires. Naturally, this business logic is connected to the design logic of developing tires and low priced tires are not retreadable. So if the dominant business logic of low price, high volume, rules tire design, how can this logic be altered to foster a circular business and design logic? We can get some hints from nature. In nature, ecosystems have existed and evolved for billions of years without creating waste. Based on four principles, reliance on solar energy, biodiversity, nutrient cycling, and population control. A circular business ecosystem can be designed by the same principles as nature's ecosystems. Just like in nature, a circular economy could be based on renewable energy and materials, material recirculation in closed loops, and product population control. This would enable high value to be retained. A tire suitable for a circular system could be designed for material circulation. For example, through processes such as pyrolysis, a combustion in oxygen-free environment that extracts the original tire ingredients for reuse. A circular tire system should also be designed for longer tire use by having a durable casing that allows multiple retreadings and regroovings. This could be facilitated both by sensors and innovations in tire design and business models. Today's sensors are capable of measuring temperature and air pressure, which are the most important metrics. In addition to this, passive piezoelectric sensors could measure impacts and forces in real time. These sensors are integrated in the tires and could be wirelessly connected to the truck. They can continuously measure and store the important health metrics per tire individual. The sensor's data is sent to a central unit in the truck which collects it and sends it further to the cloud. In today's tire retreading process, the tire is designed so that most of the old tread is removed by grinding and the new tread is attached to the casing. On today's tires, there is no specific indication of how much tread to remove nor where exactly to place the new tread. We could address these challenges by modifying the design of tires and the processes to retread them. In future retreading, removal of the old tread could be facilitated by adding an indication on the casing for when to stop grinding, or by removing the tread in a less destructive way, possibly with a process that involves specially activated adhesive. To facilitate such a retreading, the tire would be manufactured in two distinct pieces, a casing and a tread that fit together in a way that make it easier to change the tread. The tire would be designed with hidden grooves in the treads and chimneys and reinforced shoulders on the casing to allow perfect alignment of the new tread. Finally, sensors could be placed inside the chimneys without compromising safety. With these changes, it would become more economically viable to offer and purchase tire function as a service. Such an offering would mean that the customer pays for a hassle-free function or usage, while the service provider has the incentive to decrease costs by using the tires and the materials as cost-effectively as possible. This would enable multiple retreadings and cascaded usage of the tire over its full life cycle. 
Tire health information would be an important asset for the driver, fleet manager, and for planning life extension activities, such as retreading or for incentivizing customers to change their driving behavior. The data generated by the tires could also be valuable for actors and activities outside the business ecosystem, such as for the planning of road maintenance by highway and road authorities. A more circular tire business ecosystem could be more resource productive. Money could be saved in the value chain. A circular tire business ecosystem could reduce environmental impacts associated with extracting and refining materials for tires. But since tires themselves demand a lot of energy to roll, the majority of the tires environmental impact, including CO2, result during use. With electrified powertrains, however, this use phase impact can be greatly lessened in comparison to producing the tire, and thus extending tire life becomes more important in a fossil-free transportation system. The biggest fundamental barrier for a more circular tire system is the way the tire ecosystem is embedded in today's fossil-driven economy. In order to achieve a more circular tire system, we need changed attitudes towards selling and buying retreaded truck tires, new tire design and new technology to facilitate retreading, information capture and sharing, material recirculation of scrap tires that can be made into new tire and rubber products, collaboration amongst actors and action. These new activities and processes don't happen on their own. And ultimately, that fossil energy is replaced by renewable energy in all parts of the value chain. This would lead to a more resource productive business ecosystem for heavy truck tires, inspired by natural ecosystems.